Alright everyone, hello and welcome back to the Dark Souls 2 walkthrough. So we just got back from the bonfire, we're all nice and ready, and let's go. Uh, so I couldn't level up strength, so that's, that'll be the next thing I'll level up strength for a shield. I got that item over there, so the first thing we want to do, uh, let's go this way. Let's go this way, shall we? So the only way down? Is through here? Oh my god, I almost died. That was sucked. Never been over there. I, don't, I actually don't know how to get there. Yeah, that's weird. I never. I actually never been over there. So let's see. What does it say? Try a plunging attack. Very good advice. Let's try it. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Did not know there was a guy behind me. No, we only need the one hit. Oh, you got fucked up, homie. Kind of want to. I kind of want to put my dagger on my left, like right here. I'll put a. Da I'll put another dagger here. Why not? Oh, so that also means I have to have something equipped here. Ah, that's not a big deal. So that means I can't parry. But oh well. Yeah, I don't even know. How do you get over there? I have never been over there. I I don't even know if you can go over there. I'm assuming you can, simply because there's that, and there's an item there, and what I've, I've never been over there. So there should be a hole in the wall here. This guy, does this guy run through? No? Yeah, you better not, you bitch. Well, he, kn he knows I'm here. My guy's doing squats. So let's make this jump. Made it. Human effigy. Always nice. Whenever you when you die, you want to go back and come back to a human. That's what you use. I don't know if I've ever explained it, but hey. So next next course of action. Let's. There's a lot of fucking enemies on here. By the way. Let's let's plan our attack. Let's see. So we go down here. I can do a plunge attack. This dude. Is there another guy under me? Can't tell. I don't want to get. Snuck up behind again. Alright, plunge attack this dude. Missed! He didn't die from fall damage. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Illusionary wall? No? Why did I switch my dagger? I have a dagger on the left. Okay. First time I played this area, it was pretty hard because I was a melee. A lot of this game is pretty easy as a sorcerer, by the way. Oh, hi. You can come up here? So, there's a lot of enemies down here. Let's see if, how many we can take out before they come running. Got one. He dropped an item. Pretty cool. You're dead. Now, carefully, don't, don't drop. If you drop, you're fucked, lazy. Okay, now, let's get this, another torch, that's always helpful. Almost take to range, because I don't have a, I don't have a da uh, shield yet. There's a shitload of enemies here, I know that. Okay, hi. How's it going, bro? Broski. Oh, I missed! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, god damn! Suck it. Did a one hitter and then fuck you up. He dropped another item. Throwing knife. Cool. Thanks. Any more? One more guy over there. Always wondered how you get how you get petrified here. How do you get petrified here? The statue means you can get petrified. Or oh, is that burnt? Or pet I don't know, man. Shit. Can you get petrified here? Maybe in there. What's up, homie? I have 60 soul arrows. That's pretty nutty. I've never had more than like 20 lightning arrows, lightning spears in my other playthrough. Alright, so we could have came down the conventional way, but we didn't. Because we're badass. That room right there is a fucking hellhole. I hate that place. I never. I went. I tried to go there once. My character's like a level 100 on my. Well, I, when I went to that area, I was a level 100. 
I still couldn't complete that area. It's so f it's crazy. Okay, weapon ahead, but be wary of enemy. Makes yeah, it's pretty pretty helpful. Tips. What the hell's through here? Okay, hollow soldier helm. I'm like a little wary, man. Seriously, even though I've, I've beaten the game, first kind of couple areas are pretty fucking scary. So this is, this tunnel is a f is a fucking nightmare. You want to wait for that guy? Oh, he doesn't. Okay, no, I thought it was bigger. That guy's a dick. Can I kill him? I could, probably could kill him. I don't think I'm strong enough though. Oh my God! Where did you come from? That scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy balls, dude. That scared the living shit out of me. I heard attacking. I was like, "Wait, why is there? Why do I hear swords clanking? Where the fuck did they come from? They must have woken up under me. I didn't notice that. Okay, man, my awareness is a lot worse when you're doing commentary. I'll tell you that much. So let's see how much damage I do. I don't think you can kill this guy. <laughs> Ninety-eight. It's gonna take fucking years. Oh, you're a dick. Yeah, let's not fuck around. So basically, what you want to bait out, bait out his uh, flame attack. So flame me, you bitch. Two, three. There's a door over here. You want to run to open it, and we made it. Inside here is a one of the swords I used very early on in the game. Probably, I think I used this sword like all the way up to probably lost but steel. So, you gonna fire now? I wanna see what this is. Just get, get it quick! Oh, run! 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 Okay, that was a lot more harrowing than I wanted it to be! Ah, that. That was. Again, stabbing the back is not good. So, we got the fire longsword. Pretty good! If I must say so. Like, it's really good. Because undead are weak to fire, if you haven't noticed. So, what do I need to... I need 10, 10 strength, 9 dex, and some faith. Well, if faith and intelligence, that's pretty cool. Alright, so we have to... As much as I want to say, that didn't go so well. It went, it went decent. I had to use my student when two SS flasks, but hey. I'm just like not used to having not having a shield, man. I'm so used to blocking stuff and I don't know. Just being a noob. I'm so newbie. I promise I'll get better. <laughs> All right, let's kill this dude. This guy's. Where did this guy go? I can hear him. Where is he? I'm scared. You go behind there. Bucket YOLO. It almost hit me. So that was not the guy up there, right? No. Let's kill the archer dude, because he's a douche. It's gonna hit me! Oh, dodged it. Got that guy down. Same old song and dance. You worry a pyromancy. What's pyromancy here? Eh, I'll call this guy just for more souls. Why not? What's up, player? You're dead. You dropped something. Nice. Life gem. Pretty cool. I have 18 already. Damn. I think on my other playthrough, I have around 100 something. If you don't use your life gems and just use Estus flasks, you're pretty much set for life. No, I'll kill, I'll kill this other dude too. Why not? The more souls, the better. He has a halberd! Kill him! Oh, even a radiant life gem. Life, life gem. That's even better. Okay, so let's. We, we use a lot of arrows. Soul arrows. I don't want to summon Geralt! It's not Witcher! I want to rest. Okay. So let's continue.
Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think what I want to do. I, I kind of want to level up just to have a shield. I don't know if that'll be if that's, if that's a good idea. Like, I just need any shield would be nice actually. Um, I'm trying to think which shield I want. Maybe the buckler. Seven five. Well, this uses five. I want any shield to be honest. So let's level up strength five to five real quick, so just so I can have a shield, so I don't get freaking gang banged. I should level up my adaptability too. Adaptability is actually a pretty good stat in this game. If you level up pretty high, pretty high, your your actions are increased, like chugging Estus and whatnot. Is that to see light? However, if yeah, we have another shard. When did I get a shard? From the, oh, from the chest above the thing, yeah! Totally forgot. Okay, let's level up strength to five, or not, to four. We'll, we'll use a consumable. Let's see, how much do I need? One thousand. This one should be good enough. In fact, it gave me two thousand. Seek, seek Alright, let's get that five strength. Yippee! And I can level up one more time. I think I'm gonna level up adaptability. I think our damage is fine. So, you know what? We'll do adaptability. So now we can have a shield. Alright, so let's, let's go back to Cardinal Tower. And uh, I forget where the other bonfire is after this. Alright, let's rest. And supplier shield. Uh, let's put this on the. I guess I'll use this one, yeah. I'll have to use that one. And put our binocular. And I guess a dagger? Yeah. I don't need dagger. What's our equipment burden? 36. You want to stay under 50 if you want a really fast roll. Anything higher than 60. I think I think once you get past 70, 70 or higher, you have a fat roll. I, will, I don't know if I'll ever show the fat roll. Probably will. But yeah. So here we are. First area of the game. We have a shield now. Yay! Let's kill this guy. Suck it, homie. This guy is faking. I know your tricks. Yeah, these guys are all three attacks. They attack three times and then hit you in the face. So that, yeah, see that uh, that shit down there? It's fucking hell, hell on earth. Get up! I want to backstab you. Hey, how he zooms in, I can't see how much damage I did. I think it did 800? That's fucking crazy. Can I change that? Cinematic effects. Like, it's uh, for some reason, the camera adjusts so much that I can't see how much damage I do. Blood. On. Soul Veloz and dead. Another consumable item. Can you break this? No. Can you open it? No. So let's go through here. I think there is yeah, a fog wall. There's an enemy here too. He's playing dead like a dick. Backstab him! 600. Holy shit, that's a lot. Try attacking then. Hurrah for ambush! There's no ambush here. Not yet at least. So this area up ahead is like... Ugh, fucking hate it. Oh my god. You can tell by my language already. I hate this area so much. So let's bait. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna fuck around. Damn it! He fell. That guy right there is like the worst player ever alive. You. I fucking hate that guy. There should be two guys. Yeah, that guy's coming. Sup, guy? Take out with my dagger. Sup, player? Bait his attacks. See if I can get a backstab. 406 is pretty good. It's good damage. 
So, you want to kill this guy. See, it's a good thing you got the binoculars. I never had the binoculars this early. And I missed. And I can't hit him when he's too far. Another tip, if you can't hit those guys, is just run! Run up here! Run up here! Run! Okay, we made it. This guy's coming. What's up? Please die. You're dead. Okay, so who's who's the, who's the jackal that's shooting me? I think it's that guy. We want to do go over there. In fact, I think I'm going to go there first before I prog progress ahead over here. Uh, there's usually a guy that comes running up here. I might have killed him already. Oh, that guy's shooting arrows at me. You're a dick! Can't even hit that dude from here. But he can hit me. Okay, I'm trying to get on this stupid branch. Okay, if we have to tank some shots, we'll tank. Okay, I, I hit that guy. Kill him. Thank God. Okay, that guy's dead. Should be another guy down there. Yeah, another bowman. This place is just reeking of fucking douchebags with, with bows. I hate you guys so much. Yeah, you look up at me. Fuck. Can't hit him. Oh, okay. I don't think he can reach me. I could be wrong. Can you stop shooting arrows at me? I hate you. Okay. Kill him! Okay, he's dead! Alright, now. What you want to do is drop down here. From here. Like right there. Okay. Line her up and drop. We made it. Let's kill this guy. Is there, is there another arrow, dude? Oh, you suck. There is. God damn, this it's so hard to aim. I'm like wide right, wide left. Fuck yeah, you suck. Alright, so there's an item up there. Where do I want to go first? I think what I want to do... Okay, you're gonna come. Hi. How's it going? Yeah, my adaptability is not really high. I'm so used to, like, the adaptability roll of 20. Once you hit 20 adaptability, your roll is so quick. It's unreal. Let's get up here. I don't know if I want to go there yet. Is there another arrow guy? Where the fuck is he? I just saw an arrow hit me. Or, like, try to hit me. Where the hell is this dude? He's a fucking ninja. So we can't drop down and kill that guy. I'm just trying to figure out what the route I took the first time. Um. So if I do drop there, I think, it, yeah, I can come back up because there's a ladder over there. Okay, let's, let's go this way. You want to be cautious of the moves you make because... It can determine whether you... That actually hurt a lot. I'll just backstab your ass. 500 is not bad. Torch. Because if you make one wrong move, you are fucked. Not even, not even gonna sugar sugarcoat that word. You're fucked. Where's this arrow guy? That's a real question. Where the hell is he? Is he down here? Oh, he is! Ah! You can dodge, bitch! You dodge an arrow, you can dodge a, a dodgeball. Okay, we're good. So, any illusionary walls here? I don't know. They actually fixed the illusionary walls. Well, they didn't fix it, they changed it. In Dark Souls 1, you had to attack them to open up the illusionary walls. In this game, you press A or I think it's X on the PS the PS3 to open up a wall. That's why I said when they put freaking signs in front of the walls, it's freaking annoying because you can't really open them. Alright, so our next course of action is to drop down here. We made it. I don't, uh, should I heal? I don't think I need to heal. That kind of hurt. Down there, that's how you get back. Uh, there should be a hole here, no? Or do I just drop down? I think I just drop down. Question is, how do I get back up? We'll figure it out. Let's drop down here. Oh, there's a bridge. Okay. That guy right there is a dick. I hate those guys. So, let's go get that titan. Oh, that's a pretty good drop. Titan I charge. Also, this is the area behind the gate. I never got that item. 
When I made it to this area over there, I saw this item and I was like, how do I get that? Yeah, I guess we got it. Let's, let's heal. And then we have to go this way, okay? And then there's another area past this part where you want to go. Can't breathe. Because fucking spring hates me. So there's another area. You see that cave over there? You want to go there. You definitely want to go there. So in order to make, in order to go there, you gotta jump from here. Leap. Luckily, I have sorcery. When I when you first do this area, especially as a warrior, it's so hard because you have to run up to people and kill them. Um. And yeah, you're you're out of range. I guess you have a bow, but hey. So you want to wait for the boulder. Yep. Is there only one? I wonder if I let's put a sign down. Uh, let's see. Trap ahead. Let's see. Let's put trap. I like leaving signs down, man. I don't know why. Trap. It was an object, maybe. Trap ahead. In short. Direction. Orientation? Yeah, left. So we'll leave that down for any w adventurer who needs help. Trap ahead and short left. So let's see what's down here. We have a human effigy. Oh, wow, they're actually handing that shit out like it's fucking goodwill candy butters. Be wary of liar, therefore be wary of hole. Try jumping off and then death. It's pretty funny because I actually died the first time here. When the boulder hit me off the ledge. So we come up here and we meet a guy. Friend ahead. Very good. That's actually a good... That makes sense. So let's talk to him. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just... Daydreaming, I think. You think? How do you think? My name is Kale. You're daydreaming. I'm a traveler, like yourself. I'm navigating the continent to create a map. Oh, yeah. You want to... Uh, Exhaust all his dialogue. Why cartography, you ask? Well, uh, that's a good question. When I first came into this forsaken land, it was um, uh, uh, a curse. Uh, something about a curse. <laughs> How embarrassing! I seem to have lost my focus. But I do know one thing for certain. I have always been very fond of maps. I came to this land some time ago. Drang Lake, the Lost Kingdom. It sounded so romantic. Have you seen Majula? Oh, there's a rather spacious mansion there. I've made it my temporary home. Well, as something of a squatter, I'm afraid. Inside the mansion, I found a strange map, like none I'd ever seen. I believe that it's a map of Dren Lake. Now I'm traveling the land to prove it. Yes, yes, that's it. That's why I came to the kingdom. Wait, no, that wasn't it. Then what? I don't seem to recall. Were you looking for that map? Wonderful. Then you are fascinated by maps, just like me. Shame on you. You should have told me before. Here, take this. A key to the mansion. What a joy to meet a kindred spirit out here. Incredible, really, isn't it? Such a map to be chiseled in stone. Oh, but one thing. I would not venture deep into the mansion. I can't be certain, but I've heard disturbing noises. Something about it feels wrong. Just be careful, please. Alright. 
I'll be back. Perhaps we will meet again. I'll be back. Perhaps. Okay. So, he said, go to the mansion, but don't venture too far. I wonder if we're strong enough to kill that enemy. There is an enemy in the mansion, in the basement. I don't know if we're strong enough. I know when I first went there, he freaking wrecked me. So, well, that was the first time. I actually killed him. I mean, he's, I killed his ass. But yeah. So let's head up here. That was Kale, the cartographer. He is making a map of Drang Lake. And in, actually, inside the mansion, there's there actually is a map. It's on the floor. And, um... Basically, the map lights up whenever you finish kill a boss. And they are primal, and you light a bonfire called the Primal Bonfire. Which you'll see later on. Probably, probably not for a while. But you'll see. Okay, so we're, we're done here. So let's head back. I saw it up here. That was one section. And we'll make our way. So that's blocked off. I wonder if you can actually go back there. I don't, I don't know what that is back there. But anyways, here we are. Let's kill this dude. Uh, see if I can backstab him. Nope. Yeah, you want to watch out for halberds. They have long reach. Pick up this item, hollow soldier gauntlets, and let's kill this dude. Now, I don't know if you can actually run away from this guy. But before I do that, let's go, let's, go, let's go over here. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, let's go over here. There's a guy here. Kill his ass. Don't block. You're dead. Try attacking, but be wary of life. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put a message down here for anyone who needs it. So let's put uh, as an object. I don't think it's an object. It might be geography. Yeah, shortcut. Shortcut ahead. Therefore. Try. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, attributes. No concept. Might be concept. No, but no, it can't be body part. Oh, maybe action. Let's see. Uh, what's the, we're looking for? A word. Destroy. There it is. So this is. There's actually a shortcut here. You come out. You probably could see it. So shortcut ahead. Therefore, try destroy. So what you want to do is equip. That's why I told you to buy some black fire bombs. So let's equip it to the belt. And if you press X on the uh, on the Xbox controller, I hope this doesn't kill me. So you chuck a fire bomb. Chuck it. Bam. And that opens up a shortcut back to the bonfire room. Ain't that nice? So, you know what? I'm gonna rest here. And I'm taking this off my hot bar so I don't accidentally use it. And there you go! First shortcut. I didn't notice that until I actually saw it on the wiki. But pretty cool. Uh, so let's kill this guy again so he doesn't rain freaking firebombs on me. Yeah, you suck. This guy has no shield so he can suck a dick. This guy has a shield. One thing you, you you will know when you attack these guys, they attack you back. So this guy has a shield on. Let's actually let's try to break it. There you go, we broke it. I, I don't know how you get the. Uh, I don't know how you get the um the pet, the guard break critical. I don't have never tried it, but I know you can do it. So I don't know if I want to show this off. I don't know if you can run away from this dude. Ah, fuck it, we'll try it. I have effigies, if anything. Alright, let's kill this guy. Alright, so once you, if you come up here, you will fight a boss. That guy right there. He's a fucking douchebag. Please tell me go. Oh god. There he is. Hi. I'm running. Okay, cool. He doesn't. Okay, cool. 
Oh, he disappears. Thank God. I remember when I first came here, that fucker killed me because I thought, I thought you had to fight him, you know. But that guy, that's the pursuer. He basically fucking hunts your ass down the whole game. He's, he's exactly how it sounds. He's a douchebag. You can't fight him. I don't know if you can kill. I don't know if you're strong enough to kill him here. I, I couldn't kill him. But you do fight him later on. That's not for boss. So don't be discouraged. You will fight. You will have to fight him. Well, you don't have to fight him. He's optional, as I said. But you do want to fight him because it leads you to an open area again. And, uh, it leads you to another area. All right. This place sucks ass. Like a lot of ass. If there was a bag full of ass, this would be it. So this right here, there is a. You see all those ballistas? It's a fucking trap. Walk in. Should be a, a guy coming out. He gets rocked. And what I usually do is I climb, up, I climb back up the ladder. Because the guys on the ballistas come charging at your ass. Yeah, see? Look at them. Fucking three stooges. This is, I know this is three of them. I know that. So this is a safer bet. Way to kill them. When I did this, this was so hard because I had a freaking sword and board. And it's pretty difficult facing three enemies early on without really good equipment. I mean, a lot of dodging and rolling. Uh, I know there's, a, there's another, there's two more. I know that for a fact. I'm fucking scared, dude. These guys kill you so easily. There he is. There's only one of you in here? Who's, where's your, uh... I thought you had a whole band of, like, I thought the guys were the Backstreet Boys. There's only one of you? Fight me! Alright, he's dead. Bitch. Alright, loot the bodies. Large soul of a lost undead and a blue wooden shield. Ah, I never... Oh, that's what that is. That's actually pretty good. 85 bucks, 85%. Maybe I'll upload, uh... Upgrade my... <clears throat> Maybe I'll upgrade my, uh... Strength one more. Just to use that shield. So you can't. You could use these ballistas. Uh, we'll use it later when we come back. So let's climb down here. That trash, that treasure chest right there is a trap. No, c come on. Okay, cool. That treasure chest is a trap. I don't think we have a pharaoh stone. These these pharaoh stones, they yeah, no pharaoh stone lock, no pharaoh's lock stones. You could buy one from uh, Malentia, the hag, the lady from by the bonfire. Uh, I think all that shows, I think, I don't know, it gives you, well, this one in particular shows you an illusionary wall. These usually give you some added ben benefits in the environment, like I know in, I think it's Harvest Valley? Or Earthen Peaks, it drops water, or no, that's, that's Iron Keep, it drops water so you don't get hit by fire, etc. Sometimes they're trolley, so. This one, I don't know, I forget what you get from that, but. If you if you want to buy a Feral Lockstone, I think they're four four thousand souls. So yeah. See, be wary of poison. That's, that's good advice. So what you want to do is open this, and then roll backwards. Uh, on my uh, first playthrough on, on Xbox, I actually got um, crossbow. It was it was trapped or whatnot with a crossbow, and it killed me in two hits. It stun locked me. So basically what you want to do here, this door's closed, you want to open it? Or I think you want to hit it. It's like knocking on a door and then the... The hollow gentleman will open the door for you. What? Who's there? Honey! It's the pizza man! He brings soul arrows! Fuck you! So this is the worst porno. I ordered a big sausage and you gave me soul arrows. Okay, cool. You guys suck. Alright, I don't think this is trapped. Either way, you want to put up a shield immediately as soon as you open treasure chests. Even then, if it's just narrow, I just, just go left right here, diagonally. Because arrows shoot in three directions. Never choose that angle. So we got the life ring and the large titanite shard. Large titanite shards are pretty good. So we have even we have even more rings. Let's put the life ring on. Get even more health. That's always nice. And I think we're done here. Do we have enough souls? I wasted a lot of souls on buying or leveling up. If I if I do have enough, 
I will go back and buy a Pharaoh's Lockstone. Alright, so that's where we go next, right there. Right over there. See that guy? There's a, there's a guy over there. If you use this, it blows him the fuck up. I don't know if it's is it this one? No, I think it's this one. I think it's this one. No, it's not. The fuck? Can you turn these? No, I remember using one of these and it fucking blew the guy up. This wasn't that one. It's like random. It shoots like everywhere. I think it's definitely this one. Not this one, this one. If you, if you angle it right, it blows up the barrels behind that guy. No, I guess not. I guess I got really lucky the first time I used this. Let's, let's keep trying. Okay, we can't get it. So there's an enemy here. I don't even know what his name is. I think, the, I think they're called Ironclads. Because they the armor they drop is iron clad armor. So these guys are fucking douchebags. You can aggro this guy by shooting him, arrow, whatnot. Now what I usually do is I go back to the ballista room right here and wait for him. And once he comes through that doorway, just hit him in the face. I missed! That sucks. You're in a room with a f imagine yourself you're in a room with the Hulk. It's just the worst. These guys are actually pretty easy to kill, I'll show you. Once they do that, hit them, and then roll away. They usually- oh god! They usually do big attacks. Not that big. Okay, let's, let's get some distance from this dude. I would run too if I was a bitch. I was kidding! I was kidding! Yeah, you can, you can bait their attacks. They usually do overhead. Do an overhead. Why don't you do an overhead attack, you scumbag? Like that. Oh, that hurt. Okay, let's let's not die to this guy. Nah, fuck you, buddy. I guess my adaptability is not high enough. You can usually bait their overhead attack where they force their hammer down, like a two hand, and um. Yeah, just roll backwards and strike him in the face. So this guy here is a fucking douche. Well, it depends it depends what you do in the storyline, but this guy is Pate. Hello there. Traveling all alone in these treacherous times. Well, I hope you have a very good reason. Oh, hogwash. Who am I to judge? <laughs> My name is Pate. I journey hither and thither on a sort of treasure hunt, you might call it. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon travelers like yourself. Oh yes, you'll be cautious if you go any farther. There's treasure in there for certain, but the entrance locks from behind. <clears throat> I saw the same design earlier, and it's the same contraption, I'm sure. I was with this warrior, you see. And he insisted that he go inside first. <laughs> the rather brusque fellow tried to swipe the loot for himself, but it trapped him inside. I still have the gent's ring. I do hope he wasn't harmed. I'll leave this one to you. I'm worried about what might be inside. I'll leave this one to you. All right, so I see. Uh, it doesn't get I'll right. leave this. He's supposed to give you something. I forget what it is. I didn't get to actually complete the I gauntlet first. Yeah, so you can go in there and get overwhelmed and gang banged. What I like to do is go and take the detour. So, if you go this way, there's a whole bunch of douchebags up there with. I think this guy, one high guy, has an arrow. Another, I think they, they throw firebombs at you. But, anyways, we'll head this way. Do they have arrows? No, they don't. Alright, this guy is faking. Oh, it hurts. I'm trying to use my dagger more. Oh, I try to guard guard break. It never works. The one time I do it, he's he's not even in range. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so if you attack him, as I said, with his shield up, he'll, uh, come on. I don't want to guard break you. Okay. That went, that went pretty horrible. I try, every time I try to do guard break, man, it never works. Okay. It's back here. Anything back here? These I never got. I, I actually I don't know what those do. I never really used those. I actually forgot that those were existed in the game. So I beat the game and never used these. I don't know. What, I forget what you have to do. I don't even know, man. Oh wait, no, no, no. Never mind. I'm an idiot. You do. You use those later on. I won't spoil anything. All right. So if you come up here. Uh, what's over there? Is that where the gauntlet is? Gauntlet is? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's go this way first. I think I'm gonna heal. Semper ahead, but hurrah for being to a bulb. So let's heal. We're pretty close to a bonfire. Let's take this. Light crossbow. Oh, pretty cool. We have crossbows. We have a crossbow now. Should be a guy up here. There's no guy up here? Thought there was. No? Any illusionary walls? This looks like a place that would have an, an illusionary wall. No? Okay. Just checking. Um, I, I, I've got like a handful of illusionary walls in this game. I probably missed a lot. Uh, so there should be a- there's supposed to be a bowman up here. I don't know where he is. That guy's dead. There should be another guy under. Yeah, there he is. Three fucking stooges. I can never get that item right there. I heard you have to be naked. Both in real life and in this game. Oh, of course I make it on the first jump. I, ne I can never get that. Oh, yeah, oh wow, it's only a soul and a torch. Yeah, I never got that item. I, I tried like four times on my other playthrough. Never got it. So we got a soldier hollow, soldier leggings. What's in here? Let's attack it. Not a mimic. Okay. Open this bad boy up. Let's see. Mail breaker and infantry helm. I think the mail breaker is a sword. Is it a sword? Yeah, it's right here. No, that's not it. What is a mail breaker? I don't even know, man. Oh, there it is. Shield piercing strong attack. Oh, wow. Has a sharp, sturdy blade designed for thrusting. <laughs> Thrusting. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. I think we're all the way down to jump. I don't know if there's a safe place to drop from. Oh, well, I just take, took a leap of faith. Okay, so we ventured there. Uh, let's go back and complete the gauntlet and then talk to Pate. You could go through the gate, and as he said, it'll close behind you and you'll get gang banged. But if you want to take a safer route, you climb up the ladder over here and you go left. Right here. Uh, let's see what the sign says. Try dashing. Okay. Uh, let's break this. And come over here. Let's kill this dude. Yeah, see, he has his back turned. This is actually the way you would come out. So we're basically going th from the exit in. And else here? No, oh, two guys. See if I get a backstab. Nope. Nope. Bone arrow, you fucker. I did get a, I, I get a, I got a spell. They've got a great soul arrow. So I'll definitely, I'll definitely apply that once we get back to the bonfire. I think I have enough intelligence. Ah, you hit me. You suck. Fine work, like a dream. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Let's blow these guys the fuck up. I don't even need these. But it's funny. Mm. Draw like a woman! Mm. Suck it. Suck it. Hollow soldier gauntlets. 
gotten uh, more gauntlets. These guys are dropping shit like it's going on. So, there's really illusionary wall here. Wow, there is an illusionary wall here. I didn't even know this was here. Is it a trap? Sometimes they trap you. It's not nice. Always put up my shield. Sorcerer's staff and the ember herb. Wow, we got a sorcery staff. We already have that. But hey, we got, at least we got a spell use thing. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know that was there. Aromatic ooze. I think that gives your right handed weapon um, magic. Yeah, you apply magic to your right hand weapon. Alright, not bad. Enemy ahead. Yep. Trio. Ambush. Let's see if I can backstab this dude. Nope. Can never get a backstab off, man. I'm not, I'm not stealthy enough. My stink is like a, a four. Hi. How's it going, bro? Ain't gonna save you. Ambush ahead. Okay. Now, yeah, see if the gate closes. Right behind you when you walk in. But we killed everyone, so. Any illusionary walls here? No. Nothing here. No, okay, we're good. So let's just head back. So if you do go through the gate, you'll. I'm, I'm, like, I'm pretty sure you get attacked by four people. It's pretty hard. Especially because I am a sorcerer, and... Close range combat is not my style. Okay, let's get out of here. So we completed this side. Pretty close to the uh, next bonfire. I, th I think I'm going to use a... Amber Herb. Just get my... Wow, you get a lot back. That's pretty cool. Never really used those, because I was mainly melee. Um, so I guess we have to drop down here. Can I go back up? Take the ladder without getting hurt? Probably not. It's a long jump. Let's try it. Nope. Oh, Alright, we'll just drop down. It's gonna hurt like a bitch. Not bad. So let's talk to Pate. Well, I see you managed to escape. I hope that brave warrior didn't come a cropper either. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory band. Oh, but you should take this. And he gives us the white sign substone. It allows undead to call out for help to one another across the fissures between worlds. With luck, somebody will lend you a hand. Yep. Well, I hope that be okay. careful. Out. So he gave us the, the bigger sign soapstone, as you can see right here. White sign soapstone. If you join the uh, Sun Bros, you want to use this one so you get some medals to level up the Covenant. All right, let's let's continue. Let's keep going. We're almost almost up to the I guess the shortcut back to the bonfire. There is no other bonfire, I don't think, unless I'm missing it. So, is there a bonfire here? No. No. I did it. Congrats. Let's kill these guys. See, yeah, that's Pate. You can uh, summon him later on for the boss. Which is uh, what I'm going to do, because I never summoned him. Because if you do summon him, you get his armor. Which is always nice. Okay. So let's get this. Life gem. You give him a lot of life gems out, man. 20. That's pretty good. <clears throat> and then, what is the gorgeous view? Try jumping. <laughs> I don't think there's anything down there. And the fog wall. Saying ahead, then look carefully. There's a guy up there. Right there. He's guarding something very nice and beautiful that we'll get. And this guy's playing dead. Wake up, you bitch. 506 is always nice to see. There's amber herbs. I love those now. So let's use uh, snipe this guy. The reason I'm not going up there is because if you do go up there, there is a window. Like oh, I'll show you. I'll show you. You'll see. All right, this guy should 
come down any second now. There he is. Oh, how's it going, buddy? I remember your bitch ass. You almost killed me the first time because I didn't know you were behind me, you dick. Yeah, fuck you. So yeah, so if you do run up here and fight that guy, there's a window right there that guy drops drops uh drops from and stabs you in the fucking back. He's a dick. I think up here's the halberd. Yeah, the halberd. Pretty good weapon. Pretty good weapon if you're a strength class. Like starting off, the halberd is pretty good. So I think that's it. <clears throat> Losing my voice. So let's traverse the fog wall. And we this will lead us to the shortcut. So let's see. The guy's fighting someone. I don't know who he's fighting. It's only one enemy here. It's this guy. Oh, oh woo, crystal lizard! You want to kill those guys because they drop the best items. No, not the best items. They drop uh, upgrade materials. So I'll just fuck this guy up. Rolled out of my own spell. Titanite shard. Really? That's all you're going to give me, crystal lizard? Come on. Come on. I think down here is another shield I use. Pretty. Yeah, large leather shield. I used that exclusively until I got my other shield. That shield's pretty good. I think it's pretty heavy. It might be a heavy shield. <clears throat> 1.5. It's not bad. Yeah, I mainly use it because it blocks 90%. So it, it only uses 7 strength? I might level that up. Need 2 more. Preferred by hunters. Yeah, it's a pretty good shield. Pretty good shield. Okay. So, shortcut. Let's go this way. Plus, a lot of signs, man. Let's see what's in here. Got fire arrows. Not bad. Fire arrows could be useful. And let's open this door. And this will open the shortcut to the boss, which is over here. Boss ahead. Yeah, pretty good advice. There's a boss ahead. My alarm went off. So let's go back to the bonfire and then we'll fight the boss. <coughs> Guys, coming. How's it going, bro? I really like sorcery. It's pretty awesome. As I said, it's the first time I ever used sorcery in any Dark Souls game. I was mostly a miracle and uh, pyromancer. So I think we're. I, I want to spec into hexes. I never use hexes. I want to try them out. So we made it back to the bonfire. Open the shortcut. And I think we're we'll gonna replace Soul Arrow with Heavy or Great Soul Arrow. Just because it's stronger. Um, so yeah, let's put that there. And what I think I wanna do is kinda I wanna level up my strength. I know I know I know we're a sorcerer, I know, calm down. We'll get we'll get we'll level up intelligence. We have enough. You'll get enough souls in the game to level up what you want. But for now I just want a better shield. <clears throat> seek, seek, okay. I don't, do we get? Oh, we, oh, we do have one. Okay, no, we don't. That always, that always tricks me. Like it says, you can give it to her, but you never don't even have one. Okay, so let's level up. Uh, let's do strength to seven, and we can level up one more. So maybe two more. Let's level up. Uh, should take health. We'll do one intelligence. And that's it. You know, I'll pop. I'll pop some consumable souls so I can level up some health. Cause why not? I don't think we need a lot. Let's see how much do we need. Uh, thirteen forty-one. So probably about pop one of these. Thirteen forty-one. Yeah, just enough. There. So I think I'm gonna level up big rate. Actually, let's take let's take adaptability to ten. That's fine. We'll level up our health when we uh, kill the boss. And there we go. Thank you. So we'll head back, Cardinal Cardinal Tower, and we open the shortcut to the boss. So I think I'm gonna kill the first boss, and then I'll. Record some more later. I, I want. I want to definitely record some other games because if you haven't noticed, I've been busy. I haven't uploaded all week, so 
I've been uh, meaning to record other games because, you know, I had finals this week, so school takes priority and whatnot. So, yeah. I kind of wish I had another two minute slot, kind of more soul arrows. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And my voice is cracking because my voice is actually hurting. I'm going to get some water. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys later. Wave, wave goodbye, lazy. In game, lazy. And uh, next episode, we will fight the boss of the falls, the force of the fallen giants. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys later.